YouTube, I'm back. to my channel uh, yeah it's been a while because uh, see that? See it? See it? Yeah. so I got married this year and that took up most of my time planning and running around and working and doing all the craziness that comes along with getting married so sorry guys for the delay sorry for uh, all the time passed with no content I had to take care of a lot of things, as you can imagine. But I'm back, and I have a quick update on my life, on things going on. But I want to talk to you guys today about the wedding, the process, and the honeymoon. A lot of you have been asking, many of you have been asking about the Maldives. So this is the video. I'm going to break it down for you guys, how I got there, the experience, everything that has to do with it, and let's get it started. So yeah, I got married November. December 2017 to November 2018 was just planning, getting ready, all that stuff. But uh, the wedding went well. Sorry, again, I couldn't bring content because my time was uh, crazy divided. But the wedding went well. My wife is um, doing well. If you guys are asking, you can follow us on social media if you want to. Go to my page, her ads at Chocolate and Poise. You know me at Lordly. Follow us if you feel like it to see more highlights. I think there's some highlights on the page or something like that. But ch check it out. Check it out. But what you guys are really here for is the honeymoon. And we went to the Maldives. as the Maldives getting there so in the next video I'm gonna talk more about uh, travel related stuff and how you guys can travel for free and travel luxuriously uh, for free um, but that'll be the next video with a friend of mine but as far as how we got to the Maldives um, I fly with American Airlines for work a lot so what happens is I had a bunch of free frequent flyer miles to use on this so I, I was saving and planning for that for the whole year from the time I got engaged to the time I got married I was racking up miles and everything like that so it cost me 220,000 American Airlines miles to get to Maldives and you might be thinking that's crazy I'm, I'm not even worried about getting there but you can do it too you can do it too and I'll explain that in another video but you can do it too but just hear me out hear me out uh, me and my wife flew from JFK to London Heathrow from London Heathrow to Doha uh, Qatar and from Doha Qatar to Male, Maldives, and then from the mainland Male, we took a seaplane to uh, the resort, which is on a separate island that you can only access via either seaplane or speedboat. So the experience there, uh, the island itself is definitely one of the most beautiful places I've seen. Um, it was actually the W Maldives, a uh, Starwood Marriott property, and that place was phenomenal. I also got there and paid using Marriott points. And again, I'll talk more about points and miles and everything like that on the next vid. But I paid using, I think it was 240,000 240, Marriott points I used to book a five-day stay um, for me and my wife. So the island itself, 
beautiful place. There's nothing about that island that is not beautiful. The customer service there though was crazy. This is our friend over here. He's been here almost every day. <laughs> I'll take one. Is it official? Yes. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. you appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. See you. We had it almost seemed like a personal like butler or something like that who just was always at the door, always came at the same whatever time we asked him to be there to clean the room, he was there. What stuff we didn't ask for, food we didn't ask for, they brought it as a courtesy. Like the place was crazy. I can't Describe it as much as you should just go and see it and experience it for yourself. And there was a good amount to do there, um, but uh, it was kind of uh, costly to do a lot of stuff. So we had to keep that to a minimum, but we did a, a lot of fun things. We did uh, jet ski. Uh, we did something else. I forget what else we did. That actually might have been it. We were supposed to do parasailing, but the weather wasn't right. But there's so many things to do on the island, so many things that um, you can experience and see. Um, but I see why people call it a bucket list thing for me because honestly, I don't think I'll go back. Yeah, I don't think I'll go back. Not because it's not a beautiful place. It's just that there's so much, or there's only so much you can do on a solitary island. It's not like it was a mainland type of thing where you can go into town and see other things and see the street life it was just the island like you walk around the island in probably like 10 minutes so it was one of those things where it was like all right this is nice this is cool this is beautiful but definitely don't want to journey all the way over here just to do that again type of thing i can go to the caribbean and kind of do something similar that's just me it might be different for other people but if you don't have like a lot of money to burn I wouldn't do this more than once. And even if I did, I still probably wouldn't do it more than once, but that's just me, that's just me. Honestly, for me, and I, I can probably say for my wife, the best experience was actually the, the flights, um, especially the flight back to the United States. That flight was incredible. So to make a long story short, to make it not too confusing for some of you guys, and again, I'm gonna talk about this in, in the next video, a lot of plugs in this. Um, I, even though we flew American Airlines and I fly American Airlines, they're partners with an uh, airline called Qatar. Um, they're part of the same alliance. So I was able to also book a Qatar flight on the way back in business class. And they have something called the Q Suites. suites are like many like rooms in business class where you, you have a door that closes and you have your own space it's like a, a mini mini apartment type of thing I don't know how else to describe it but the thing was beautiful food whenever you want it it's not like the pre planned time meals that you get on most of your economy flights where it's like when they serve it they serve it this was what they called uh, dining on demand So I could wake up in the middle of the flight. It was a 14 hour flight from Qatar to JFK on the way home, 14 hours. And I was not gonna spend that in the economy. So food anytime, so breakfast, lunch, whatever, whatever's on the menu at any time could have it. I could just, just ring the bell and they're making the food. So that was phenomenal. But not only was that phenomenal, but the fact that the flight attendants on that flight were crazy, 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 attentive nice um on on the game like there was it wasn't like flying like united where they beat you up or uh or united where they where they kill your pet um and yeah it wasn't any of those and i'll maybe i'll do a review in my united flight in business class from uh, germany to newark because that was mm. but anyway the, the customer service was incredible on qatar i think they're in my opinion they're probably like the best airline in the on the planet in my opinion and I've flown a lot of airlines and they're probably the best. 
um, in my opinion. So that experience was one of the highlights, not even necessarily the Maldives, but just experiencing that flight. Oh, and the food in the Maldives was incredible. These are bananas. What else for Even though I got sick the first night with a stomach bug, I have no idea where that came from. I don't know what I ate. I don't think it was, I think it was along the way I ate something. And I was throwing up the whole night, but that's beyond the point. Shout out to my wife for taking care of me. But the food on the Maldives was incredible. The seafood, the, the breakfast food, everything like that. It was just... So now to the cost. So you guys are probably saying, oh, that's good, but how much does it really cost? All right. So again, there's gonna be another video, plug, plug, I didn't blink, plug. Um, that's coming after this, talking about um, Marriott points and airline miles and all these other hotel issues and how to travel best and everything like that. But um, when it comes to um, the cost of it, so the hotel uh, costs, like I said, 240,000 Marriott um, points um, on a normal non-point uh, per night basis it can run that particular hotel probably like 800 to 900 per night um, but I didn't pay any of that um, at all I paid straight points and all we paid for um, was dinner um, for the whole week we we're there the whole five days uh, breakfast was covered because I'm what they call um, a Marriott Platinum Premier Elite um, with amb ambassador or something like that. So it's like the highest Marriott level you can be. So that covers my breakfast at any Marriott hotel I stay anywhere in the world. So including um, the W Maldives. So um, food was covered. Didn't pay anything for food. But again, food, I think uh, we did have to pay for our dinner. Um, and it comes in like a dinner package, stuff like that. So that was like uh, $700 per person, what they call a half horse. So we pay for that. Um, we paid for uh, the water sports, that was probably like 200 bucks um, per activity that we that we did while we were there. So that was that. Um, there's a lot of, another thing to keep in mind, tipping. So we don't do tipping like that in America, but out there, everything they, they low key expect a tip. Whether they come to drop off food, whether they come to fix your room, if they come to say that you missed some event that they're doing, everything is tip. If you look at them too long, give them a tip. That's another thing about the cost, just having uh, cash on hand, like little, little like fives and probably like ones just to give them uh, along the way for whatever service they provide that I feel you don't necessarily need $5 for me to drop off something, but that's just me. As far as the flight, the flight normally, so again, I use 220,000 American Airlines miles, which can be used across different airlines um, in the same alliance, and I'll explain that in the next vid. Um, but I used um, those airline miles to fly Qatar and American Airlines back and forth. Um, roundabout, that should have cost the way I flew for the two of us, probably like $16,000 plus because of the business class thing that, uh, or the business class uh, cabin that we flew on the way back. Normally those tickets could be like six to $8,000 per person. Um, not including the economy that we flew out there. So it could have been around like twelve to $16,000 on a normal day. But again, I used miles, so that helped out a lot. So didn't pay anything for that besides taxes. Like, it was like 100 bucks or something like that. The next cost is the seaplane. So that's separate from your regular, everyday American Airlines, Qatar, United, Delta. Um, there's a seaplane that you have to take once you got to Maldives, to the island from the mainland. Now that was, and I have a funny story. I don't know if my wife's gonna let me share, but uh, she was scared to say the least. Uh, but, and I don't have video of that. I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, but you have to take a seaplane um, from mainland uh, Maldives to 
uh, the island and that's about a 25 minute seaplane flight. So you take off on the water and you land on the water in a plane that's about as big as maybe a two, two uh, pickup trucks put together, if that, maybe one and a half. It wasn't big at all, um, just probably like 10 seats on the whole plane and then your luggage in the, is in the back. It was the craziest thing I've ever been on and uh, I probably won't do it again if I don't have to, but it was cool, but I just, that's not for me all the time. But um, that cost um, $950 round trip for two people, so $425 per person. Um, and they, the hotel charges you that. So that's another cost we paid. Um, but that was put into like the hotel bill along with the food and all that stuff. Um, so when it comes to like hotel and everything that we pay for the hotel, um, and again, we saved, so don't think we balling or anything like that. But we saved and we, we planned and um, that cost around like $3,000 before we left. As far as just paying for food and activities. It wasn't even breakfast, it wasn't staying at the hotel, it was literally just eating and travel there on their whatever little plane. So be mindful about that when preparing, because the farther you go to, because there's a bunch of islands in the Maldives, not just the island we went to, so the farther out you go, the pricier the uh, seaplane uh, ticket becomes. So keep that in mind when you're planning. And if you have any questions about uh, other things in Maldives, please leave a comment, by the way, leave a comment. I'll definitely answer if I miss something that you might want to know, leave a comment. It's important that you guys learn how to travel and that will be in my next video. I think I've plugged this thing like eight times in this whole video. It's important that you guys learn how to travel and travel efficiently, travel well, and travel smartly. Um, uh, and again, I'll talk about that in the next video. But outside of that, didn't pay more than, round for everything included, probably paid 3,500 for a trip that should cost maybe 20 to $30,000 on a regular day. I got y'all, I'm, I'm gonna help y'all out. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the way, I'm gonna show y'all the way. But overall, my rating of the W Maldives and the whole Maldives experience, I'll give it a nine out of 10 because the island was perfect, the customer service was perfect, everything was perfect. It's just that, look, I don't like spending unnecessary money and spending, that food money was, was a lot. That was a lot, I wouldn't want to keep doing that. Um, and I wish like the activities were a little bit cheaper so you can do more activities and kind of do more things um, rather than just walk around, eat, maybe do a couple of activities and just lounge around going to the beach. But besides that, definitely go to Maldives in my, in my opinion. Go to Maldives, uh, put it uh, on your bucket list and, and check it off. It's some, something that you definitely should do. And if you're gonna do it, please fly with Qatar Airways. I don't know how else to say that. Just fly with them and it'll make it worthwhile. There's people out here, I'm not gonna name names, but there's people out here or groups of people that are enjoying life like you should be. So keep that in mind. I'm so happy to be back. Um, all new content for 2019 and I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. I know you guys have been complaining that you don't see me and there's reasons and I told you reasons, but hope to see you guys next time. Leave a comment if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, anything you wanna know about travel, uh, leave a comment uh, for sure. Like the video, share it, and I hope to see you guys on the next video about Intense travel. See you guys next time.